Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the trustees, our headmistress, staff, and the students of J.N. Tadaparsi Girls High School, I welcome one and all. I now request the parents to kindly switch off their mobile phones, and I assure you that the performances of our children will transport you to a magical world. The grand finale of today's show is the distribution of prizes. Please remember that these children have worked hard for an entire academic year to achieve this success. So please be in your seats till the end of the show and acknowledge their feet with a big round of applause. Thank you and enjoy the show.
standing by, trustees of the school, esteemed guests, donors, parents, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the students and staff of the school, I welcome you all to this evening show. In today's world, there is a dire need to be aware of one's potential and environment. We are striving to create balanced children who are courageous, committed in spirit, curious, creative, and caring in action. Our goal, right from the inception in 1920, has been aimed emphasis in the all-round development of our students. We are very grateful that Mr. Sandeep Madhukar Tangarke has agreed to be our chief guest this evening. I take great pride and honor in introducing him to you all. Mr. Sandeep Tangarke, Deputy Inspector General of Police, a biochemistry graduate from Hisla College. He did his master's in police management from Osmania University, diploma in cyber law, PG diploma in intellectual property rights, and presently pursuing LAP from Mac University. He is certified cyber crime investigator who began his career as Deputy Superintendent of Police, CBI, before joining the IPS in 2001. His postings at Nagaland were as Subdivisional Police Officer, Superintendent of Police, Nagaland Assistant, and Commandant First Nagaland Armed Police Battalion. From 2011 to 2013, Superintendent of Police, Head of Branch, Special Crime Branch, CBI, Movement. Superintendent of Police, Special Investigation Teams, Ahmedabad, Kabuta, Encounter Cases. Presently, Superintendent of Police, Anti-Corruption Branch, CBI, Nagpur. He has extensively investigated many cases and has been honored by Governor's Gold Medal 2007 for anti-militancy operations, PGP's Disk and Commendation Certificate, and Internal Security Medal for his commendable work rendered in Nagaland. He was a proficient debater and enjoyed participating in quiz competitions during his graduation. He was also credited as Best Director at AK Sena Drama Contest at IAS Academy, Masuri. An accomplished swimmer, sport lover, has many awards in rifle shooting, volleyball, hockey, and football. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are highly honored to have with us such a dynamic personality. We welcome you, sir.
मोहम्मदी ने अवध प्रांत के एक गरीब परिवार में जन्म लिया बचपन में ही माता पिता का देहांत हो जाने के कारण उसके पालन पोषण का भार चाचा पर आ पड़ा चाची ने अवसर पाते ही उसे बेच दिया किंतु शीघ्र ही मोहम्मदी के पवित्र व परिपक्व चरित्र ने अवध के नवाबजादे वाजिद अली शाह का दिल जीत लिया और वह उनकी रानी बन गई उन्होंने उसे उपाधि दी इफ्तिखारिसा यानी नारी का कर कुछ समय बाद मोहम्मदी ने एक पुत्र को जन्म दिया और फिर वह कहलाई जाने लगी हजरत महल अर्थात सम्मान्य नारी वाजिद अली शाह कला के बड़े प्रशंसक व संरक्षक थे किंतु राजकाज में प्रबुद्ध न थे शीघ्र ही अवध ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी के कर्ज में डूब गया यहाँ तक कि एक दिन कंपनी ने अवध को अंग्रेजों के प्रभुत्व में सौंप देने की मांग की मोहम्मदी यानी हजरत महल ने अपना अवध अंग्रेजों को सौंपने से साफ इनकार कर दिया उन्होंने अपने चौदह वर्षीय बेटे को राजगति पर बिठाया राजकाज की बागडोर अपने हाथ में ली और अंग्रेजों के विरुद्ध खुलेआम जंग छेड़ दी यह समय था अठारह का जब उत्तर भारत के कई राज्यों में अंग्रेजों का विरोध जोर पकड़ रहा था हजरत महल की देशभक्ति से अवध की जनता अत्यंत प्रभावित हुई और उनके साथ करीब डेढ़ लाख सिपाही अंग्रेजों के विरुद्ध इस जंग में खड़े हो गए उन्होंने सन अठारह के स्वतंत्रता संग्राम में नाना साहेब तात्या टोपे रानी लक्ष्मीबाई आदि के साथ मिलकर फिरंगियों को जमकर टक्कर दी किंतु फिर अंग्रेजों ने उनके वफादार साथियों को लालच दे देकर खरीद लिया अंत में उन्हें जंग से पीछे रखना पड़ा उन्हें भी कई बार अंग्रेजों ने लाखों की पेंशन और बड़ी सी जागीर देने का प्रस्ताव रखा पर हजरत महल को तो पूर्ण स्वराज से का कुछ मंजूर ही नहीं था अब वे अपने वफादार सैनिकों के साथ लखनऊ छोड़ नेपाल चली गई किंतु जाते जाते अवध का कई सौ करोड़ का खजाना अपने साथ लेती गई जिसे उन्होंने इन सैनिकों के जीवन पोषण में लगा दिया इस वीर रानी की मृत्यु अठारह में एक आम नारी के रूप में नेपाल में हुई Since the dawn of history, mankind's progress has been a saga of untold courage and determination in the face of overwhelming trials and tribulations. Women have traditionally played secondary role in the scene of things, whereas it is the men who have been in command. However, there have been many times when the need arose, and women. have risen to the occasion and assumed command to lead from the forefront so here is one such tale of valor from the bygone era the memory of which shall be cherished forever in the annals of mankind so today we the students of jm plaza parsi girls high school present our chapter if the car and the sack the pride of Mohammadi was her name. She was born into a family of small artisans from Faisalabad. Soon, her father, with his family, migrated to Lucknow in search of livelihood, but died after a few months.
but fascinating. She, along with other inmates of the house, was taught etiquettes, dance, and other arts with utmost sincerity and discipline. <laughs> Finally, the news most awaited in that house came that these girls were urgently needed for a play for Lord Krishna's birthday to be performed in Parikhana under the direction of the Crown Prince Vajid Ali Shah. Shut up. 
the regent of the state, and took charge of the affairs of Avar. Begum Hazrat Mehar was a woman of great energy and ability. During her 10 months rule, in spite of turbulent times, she used to hold the past regularly. Such was her popularity that the taxes and revenue which were collected by the previous rulers after much harassment and bloodshed were now paid to Hazrat Mehar promptly by the same landholders. She declared undying war against British. Along with other heroes of 1857, such as Nana Sahib, Satya Dope, Rani Lakshmi Bai, Malvi Ahmadullah, she fought courageously in first freedom struggle for India. It was her sincerity of purpose that attracted around her about one and a half lakhs of rebel sepoys and native soldiers, an army numerically more than what any other leader brought against the English anywhere in the revolt of 1857.
same spirit was shown by the founders of this August gathering in 1920 when this school, Jail Tata Pasi school was started. I guess if I'm not wrong, ma'am, the need was felt for the, the girls of Central India to have an institute of its own. And I have been absolute privilege to be part of this evening, the cultural show. Dr. Ms. Nehru Major, Managing Trustee, Dr. Ms. Preeti Patel, Ms. Edu Marwaga, Mrs. Diana Kurt, I'm sorry, Mrs. Diana Mamanji, all trustees of the institute, Mrs. Meena Devnani, a trustee of Fire Secondary School, Mrs. Shanoon Mirza, Administrator Junior College, Ms. Azra Salam, Administrator of Primary School. Teaching and non-teaching staff of the school, dear students, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday, I was the chief guest at one of the relatively new schools at a sports event. And uh, today I am here for the cultural show. And uh, I must say, despite my best effort, I am in the mode of comparison of yesterday's uh, performance at the school, sports school, uh, sports event and the today's cultural event. And I must compliment, I was telling the principal ma'am that uh, it's not easy for such a prestigious uh, school, almost a century old, to maintain the traditions and also move on with the modernity, with the changes which has brought in almost a century. And as principal ma'am was giving the achievements that the school has achieved in the last one year. I could see at most uh, school has excelled in all spheres, not only the academics, but also uh, the sports, its extracurricular activities and everything. I think uh, the school deserves a huge con uh, commendation and congratulations for the, for the, for the, for the school that uh, I must also congratulate all the students and the teachers and marketing staff for presenting an absolutely entertaining and uh, 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 exhilarating performance today, right from the initial program of Akbar uh, Akbar that was in the Zindagi to Mehr Dhonte Hai. As a uh, absolutely wonderful satire on the current scheme of things and the uh, things that they have touched almost from. Uh, the, 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 the why people are unhappy and why uh, what are the reasons it was absolutely wonderfully played and uh, showed and I particularly like that stuff of Samundar Bhar Kitab and Nani Bhar Padai or Chilu Bhar Marks I think very wonderfully done I, I could not uh, I, mean, I went back to my own days of schools I am a product of a hostel I am a product of Sanic School it was again similar to this school, it was, uh, it was not a poet school, it was all boys school. This is all girls school, I guess, uh, this school, this school, so I could not help but remember my own days of, we used to have cultural event during Ganesh Chaturthi, all three days, and we used to have almost similar kind of programs with uh, no movie songs and uh, no western music, I think the school deserves uh, huge uh, contributions for that, it was absolutely a wonderful program. The same uh, in this sketch also had uh, one uh, uh, one character says that uh, I was engineer in the same college and now I'm uh, I think a watchman or something. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, uh, we all are parents here. I do. I am also a parent of a working kid, and uh, I don't want to be a summarizing kind of thing. But I think uh, that speaks volumes about the current uh, existing scheme scheme of things, uh, the, the education, um, the, the area in which we come up, uh, uh, probably engineering and medicine and a lot of other professional courses, uh, without realizing what exactly are the uh, employability factor or of other things, we try to send our children without realizing the aptitude for the children and uh, uh, imitate. 
So uh, I was supposed to look at the engineering scenario. I got nothing against engineers, but last year almost uh, uh, India itself produced 1.5 million engineers. That's 15 lakh engineers in a year. That's the this 15 lakh engineers is more than the combined total engineers of US and China. And so we really need to have a look at it, what exactly we are trying to do. And uh, in fact, the employability factor also, one of the best engineering colleges that is IIT in Bombay, last year could only provide job to 71% of the graduates. So if IIT Bombay can't assure employment for all its engineers, I think we need to, we as parents need to really have a hard look at what our children are going to become. Um, this, is, this, this is not the uh, occasion to, for me to go into all those details, but uh, I feel the, uh, we as parents need to include the attitude and attitude of our children so that we can affect them. One of my teachers in my school, it's an school, he used to say, uh, whatever you do in life, you ensure that you excel in that. Marathi mein kehte the, agar aap chalu bhi maarte hai, to ensure ki ji kitna achha chalu maare, aap se achha koi bhayda chalu na maas. I think we uh, as parents, it's high time that we do that. I'm not going to take a lot of time here. Uh, I could see the work of the school is knowledge is power, right? I think uh, this is a universal phenomenon, knowledge is power, also in current scheme of things, current uh, globalized uh, world. But schools like this ensures that it teaches us no knowledge is power, but how to use that power is intellect. School gives that intellect. And when and where to use that power is the wisdom. I think this is the greatness of institutions like this, which has survived three, four, five, six generations and some of it almost hundred years to give that wisdom to the children. I congratulate the entire managing committee, the correct uh, teaching staff, the students, and hope and pray that the school will go into the future, future with the same traditions and with keeping the current things in mind. Thank you so much. to felicitate our retired teachers. Be calm, be cool was a mantra in the school. I now invite Mrs. Shiraz Medora, who retired as a senior teacher of English, to express the token of her love and appreciation for her dedicated service rendered to the institution of Pesiman Learn years. Dr. Mehru Major to acknowledge their dedicated service. 
She joined the Celestial Institution in the year 1990 with a post-graduation in MSc Zoology as a Montessori teacher and rose to become the principal of the primary section in the year 2014. A sincere teacher with an eye for detail where our choir is concerned has staged some wonderful Hindi plays as a primary principal, she's loving, kind, gentle, and approachable. I now invite Ms. Azra Salam, principal primary section, to accept the person of our class and appreciation for her dedicated service, render the institution for 25 long years.
knowledge also. And we need your assistance, we need your help in doing that. And I'm sure, as always, you will be quite grateful and you will be doing the need. We are now approaching 2016. I would like to